What's up guys, Brohan here, and welcome to my very first YouTube video. This will be the first of uh, hopefully many mobile gaming videos to appear on my channel. You've probably heard by now that mobile gaming is gaining some legitimacy, and I definitely would have to agree. But it wasn't until I t started playing Clash of Clans that I realized the potential of mobile as a platform. Clash was the first mobile game I played for more than a day or two. Usually I was just in the bathroom playing it, you know, a couple of puzzle games here and there, but then Supercell really hooked me in with Clash. It was one of the, the, the better games I've played. I come from a PC gaming background, so mobile games never really felt valuable to me until I got my hands on Clash. And that was about two years ago, and here I am making YouTube videos about it now, so I guess you could say I'm hooked. In this Let's Play Clash series, I'll be going over the next few weeks. I'm just going to start a fresh Clash of Clans account and go through the game from scratch. So hopefully if you're a new player, I'll be able to explain a lot of the little things that can be hard to grasp when you first pick up the game. And for you veteran players, it might be fun to kick back and reminisce on the old times. Anyways, enough of that, let's get into some Clash. So what is the point of the game? Good question. I don't really know. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, generally speaking, the idea is to build up your base as strong as possible while attacking other players' bases for loot and trophies. The loot helps you build up a stronger army and defenses, while the trophies kind of give you some bragging rights. Um, later on, you can even join a clan and play with your friends and other players, but we'll get into that later on. So let's get into this uh, Let's Play Clash series. So I just jumped into the game. Uh, it gives you a little, nice little tutorial here. Kind of guides me with uh, what to do. So it's got this big arrow pointing to the shop, so I'm going to go over there. Uh, once we build a cannon. Cannon is one of the first defenses you'll ever get in the game. Um, it's really the base defense at this level. So I'm just going to build that cannon real quick. Ten seconds. Um, if you're new to the game, the gems are kind of like the, the thing that lets you speed up the game. So <clears throat> if you just want to be patient, wait, wait your time. A lot of times you can just wait it out, but this game wants you to buy gems because that's how Supercell makes money. So they're going to increase, kind of, you know, encourage you to spend them here and here and there. Um, so if you're new starting out, don't waste your gems because you don't want to buy new ones. So hold off on that. Oh no, the goblins are attacking me. This is unusual. You never see goblins running your village really in, in the game. So this is kind of funny. I kind of forgot about this little intro act here. So that cannon's taking them out. All right, and then, phew, that was close call. Thanks, Chief. You're welcome. All right, what's next? All right, we built the village, blah, blah. Let's get through this. Come on now. Uh, those wizards from every time, oh, they're going to attack us. Okay, cool. All right, so we have some wizards here. Wizards, you don't get these in the game yet. These are kind of some high-level troops. So I'm going to throw these down. I'm going to throw them down on the, I guess this is their town hall here. I'm going to attack that, attack that defense, and it's going to be pretty easy to mop up. One thing about Clash is that your troops that, notice how I had five wizards there, and even though I won and they were still alive, I don't get those troops back. So kind of keep that in mind when you're deploying troops. All right, now, what's next? We need to build some more builder's huts. All right, see, see, this is one of the only things in the game that will cost gems in the beginning. That's why I told you to save them, because you want to build as many builder huts as you can eventually. Later on in the game, those become pretty important. I'll throw that down. That was 250 gems. Dang, ouch, that hurts. It really hurts me. 250 gems, that's a lot of gems. All right, so elixir. Elixir is kind of the thing you use to build troops and upgrade your troops. And again, it wants me to spend that one gem and I'm not gonna do it. Screw you, Supercell. Um, so I'm gonna just wait two seconds for that to be done. Cool, bam, done there. All right, what's next, bam. I'm gonna take that gold. <clears throat> Wow, 1,000 gold, that's so much stuff. Not just joking, at this level that is nothing. Um, so I'm gonna build a storage here it's for my elixir. Wants me to gem that, I'm not gonna do it. I refuse. I'm gonna kind of move these builder huts outside my village for now. Uh -oh. We need a place to store our gold, all right, cool. And I build a gold storage, so we have a place to put all of these resources that we're building and getting and farming, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> What's next? Uh, I'm going to place these out here like I said I was going to. Dang, this tutorial keeps jumping in on me. Can't do anything. i got to build a barracks. Okay, barracks. One of the most important things in the game is your barracks. These barracks are how you build your troops. So we build, uh, first we're going to get barbarians, which is the base unit of the game, which is 
kind of like the cannon fodder if you want to call them that but they're cheap and they kill stuff so those are important and one of the things you can do in Clash is pretty cool. You hold it down, you can create a bunch of troops. I'm just gonna spam that, and I'm not gonna gem it. Actually, I will for the point of this video. They got me there. Um, cool. Now, it wants me to go attack. So, as you can see on the right-hand side of the map, this is called the single-player game. Um, this is kind of what Supercell built for you to play by yourself. These are not real players, they're just, you know, pre-made bases that Supercell made, and I'm going to deploy these troops. I want to, if you're new to the game, you kind of want to take out the defenses first, um, that way you can stop, you know, your troops can stop dying, and then they'll go to the, the Town Hall. Uh, and in the Goblin Run, the Town Hall looks a little different than the multiplayer, so that's kind of something to keep in mind. Uh, looks like that's the Town Hall. So, we're just going to wait it out until our barbs clean that out. Alright, three stars. As you can see, one thing I need to definitely go over is the how the star system works. So, in the, when you attack someone, if you get the town hall, that's automatically one star. No matter what. Even if you just kill the town hall, it's one star. Then, after that, if you get up to 50% damage, you get another star. And then, if you get all of the bases, everything, all of the defenses, everything is is cleared, and you get three stars. So I'm going to name my village here. Let's call it Lord Brohan, because that's who I am. It wants me to upgrade my town hall. I got a bunch of new stuff. I'm going to go ahead and do that for a thousand gold. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in episode two. Thanks for watching, guys, and please subscribe.